All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at KTO. He is a magician behind the camera or behind the, the editing suite on the computer. He makes epic NFL or football related videos. Today, we're going to watch another one. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is what happened to the 400 pound high school running back? <laughs> Enough said. Tony Pickard, the 400 pound running back, gained stardom in 2013. His highlights had millions of views. Seeing a dude this big run the ball is an incredible sight to see. But what happened to him after high school? Let's find out. Let's find out. You got a 400 pound running back playing his trade, there's more to the story than perhaps... The fringe! Have. Oh no! <laughs> Football players are generally big, but this big? At 6'4 and 400 pounds! No. That's just not fair. A 400 pound running back. If you played Madden growing up, you had to have made a player like this. He <laughs> maxed out his weight and attributes and ran all over your opponents. Because the idea of a massive running back leads to curiosity. Will this dude just run over <laughs> And how come no one has ever really done this? It's actually Once decent graphics for 2005. Completely unstoppable? It's an age old question. And if we look at the history of football, there's one primary example that comes to mind. The fridge. William the Refrigerator Perry. The dude was a monster. No one stops the fridge from one yard out. As in a biscuit shy of 350 pounds. Back in the day, the fridge played defensive tackle for the Chicago Bears, but is mostly known for running the ball at the goal line during the Bears run to the Super Bowl in 1985. When he scored for the very first time, he became the heaviest player to ever rush for a touchdown in the <laughs> NFL. Whenever a big man scores a touchdown now, Where is he? he is always that Where is he? comparison. The thing is, the Fridge in his nine year career, in a total of 138 career games, carried the ball only nine times. The man was not a running back by any stretch of imagination. It was more like the 80s version of the Fuck you now. The refrigerator man! The refrigerator man! The refrigerator man! But a few years ago, Tony Picard. He doesn't look 400 pounds. Outweighed the fridge by over 50 pounds and was actually the team's running back. Let me see this. Oh my gosh. In 2013, after Tony's highlights reached millions of views on YouTube and was featured on networks including CNN and Good Morning America, Tony took the nation by storm. It's crazy just to see the looks on people's faces like, what is he doing? <laughs> it all started during his sophomore year. It's got to be hard on the knees though. Offensive lineman. His coach told him that he had been thinking. This is what Tony said himself, quote, he's like, I gotta tell you something. We want you to run the ball. And I was like, what are you talking about, me? He started playing all over the field after that and eventually became the full-time running back by his senior season. Could you even imagine trying to tackle this dude? His senior year, he finished with around 700 yards and I believe 15. You gotta go low, man. Take the ankles. As they call them. Take the legs out and he'll fall down. This also led football fans everywhere curious to see this kid's next move. So, what happened after becoming an internet sensation? Well, his size probably ended up hurting him. He actually received zero offers from any schools, much to his dismay. This could be because his speed was too slow, or maybe being a serious risk of injury from getting hit in the legs, since that's pretty much the only way you could take this guy down. Exactly. According to Busted Coverage, he signed a national letter of intent with Everett Junior College. He showed up to some of the first practices, till he found out he couldn't even afford to play. So he left the school and moved on. This led to him moving in with his uncle, where he attended the school Lewis Clark Valley. At this point, he didn't have any intentions of playing, but someone reached out to his uncle asking for him to come try out. That's when Tony decided that he wanted to go ahead and do it. 
Sadly, he was not going to play running back. I actually caught up with Tony over Instagram to ask what happened. He told me he ended up playing defensive line for three years and actually never really planned on playing running back. So that's where it ends. Now he's just going to school and progressing with his life. I don't see a big man running back ever really working out past high school because of the brutal hits they take to their knees. Yeah. Still, it will always be a And the whites. And it's just the white fact that's... Everyone loves seeing a big guy run the ball. I would have loved to watch him play. <laughs> I love this guy too. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. I wish he had a scored this. I wish he had a scored that. They should put Linval Joseph's one in there. The juke! The juke of the man, just like six inches to the side. Thanks for watching! No, thank you guys for watching. And I want to say, if you have enjoyed this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. That was the 400 pound running back. We'll probably never see it again. Well, I guess you could. All the coach has to do is take one of his biggest offensive linemen and put him at running back and say run. They do it in rugby all the time. It's called the crash ball. Give it to him, crash him into the defense, see what happens. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.